I speak from my understanding. Um, when you are faced with a situation like that was at the time, there are few things that come to your mind, and there are few choices. Either uh, you face what it is, however difficult it is, and uh, invest everything in you to deal with that, or you break down and run away. There is really nothing in between. Either you do something and uh, or, or don't do it and the consequences either way are very obvious. But at that time at that time sometimes it is not obvious. You you only come to think about it later. So from the beginning, when the struggle started, uh, we understood the magnitude, the weight uh, we have to carry uh, in doing what we are trying to do and achieving what we had in mind. We never underestimated. Uh, but it, can, it turned out to be even much bigger, much more complicated than anyone could have thought. But still, we were there, so you had to deal with it the way it happened. So what was, in, what was it that was in the mind? You don't want to go too far ahead of yourself because if you do that, you probably will make a mistake because you are either you are thinking about the defeat or thinking about the victory, which has not happened. And if you thought of one, if you are sure you are going to succeed, it may end up actually being a failure. If you think you have already failed, uh, that means you're not going to try as much as you could have. And uh, you, you, you may actually end up with a failure. Uh, when it could have been different when you could have succeeded if you tried everything you could. This is the place um, where so many things happen. First of all, taking this place and uh, occupying it and turning it into headquarters for uh, the RPF and the RPA combined. Uh, must have happened in 1992, I think around April maybe, if I remember, or towards that. Because the RPA was involved in the fighting along the border and we hadn't taken much of the territory inside Rwanda where we had a surviving along the border between uh, Rwanda and Uganda, uh, where some of us had come from. And um, so the, the RPF, meaning the chairman, the commissioners, were not part of the fighting force. We are staying in different parts. In fact, we had the headquarters in in Brussels, Belgium, but we also had another in Kampala, Uganda. That's why it all started. Um, and then sub headquarters in different parts of the world. So when we took this place, we were able to bring the 
two closer together or really together the Arab Pier and the Arab Pier and um, this became our headquarters. It is hard to go back and tell people what you are thinking. Honestly, I don't even remember some of the things I was thinking. <laughs> things were happening so fast, so... Uh, uh, and it was so stressful. And um, I spent more time and energy trying to stabilize myself so that I don't collapse under the weight of uh, everything but uh, focused on saying first if it is fighting we must fight to win if it is even politics we must do the right thing politically still make progress and um, and then when the genocide started the immediate thing was to see fight the people who are killing, second, try and save as many people as we could, if it were possible, but same time collapsing the government that uh, was responsible for that. Rwandans have values, there's no question about it. Uh, in, in fact, uh, that, that uh, to an extent, explains the the problem the world has. Uh, in the world, there are some people in some parts of the world who think they are the only ones who have values, and their values must be conformed to by others. <laughs> which uh, I personally feel insulted by and could not accept, can't accept it. It is not true. There, there are no people with better values than others. And, and better, how do you measure that? Better in what sense? So, with the Rwandan values, and, and even with the effort to try and integrate the values, your own values, with other people's values, so that um, it is broadened, or you look at it uh, in a global context, the way it should be. Um, the governance of the country, the politics of the country, ordinarily should reflect the values of that society. So, for a long time, in Rwanda, we had our own values even before, then colonialism, okay, we can talk about that briefly, brought their own values, then gave uh, or distorted the values of, of Rwandans, and, and unfortunately Rwandans came to accept the distorted values as their own. What do I mean here? Having a country that is divided on an ethnic basis isn't part of the values we should be, uh, we should espouse, uh, we shouldn't. But that's what happened. So the Arab PF the origin of it, much as it is problems that had happened to some Rwandans, not only those living in the country, but especially those outside as refugees, um, for things to go back to the right order, the, the politics 
must be bringing back the unity of the country so that we are no longer ethnic groups but rather the integration of that into or by national unity. Uh, so that, that's, that's really how RPF was born. Ugomba kumenya nibyo niba nibyo wasanze ari byiza muracyari bato nyine bimwe mugenda mu byumva ariko mukuriye kubyumva mukwire no kubimenya mukamenya ngo ibi byiza ntabwo ari uko byari bimeze imyaka 30 ishize then the question is byagenze gute kugira ngo tube dufite ibi byiza Immediate also what kicks in is an unknown Mutuawe, Kubirinda, uh, even by shaping the opinion, facts, evidence, and explanation. I'll come on with you, honey cheese. Umbai Zuti, Nikuchari cheese, and I took Nabikubir. I will give you evidence, I will give you a fact, I will give you why I believe which Chihuni cheese. So <coughs> Mubyo mukora rero nyene naho ngaho iyo byageze ahandi iyo noneho nanone usubira mu mateka ukareba mu mateka bitani pages ukareba ntabwo ibyiza byikora ntabwo ibyiza biva mu opinion gusanga yirushya no mu opinion habari hari ntambara nabyo ura you are buri munsi you wake up ready for a fight <laughs> of some kind right yes no mvuga nabi niyo wabutavuze igihugu nabi no mvuga nabi ndakunda turahangana ndakubaza impamvu mvuga nabi kandi nge numva yes eh izindi ntambara zibaho ni zisanzwe z'amasaso noneho zirimo no kubura ubuzima ivyo nabyo now we have to If you're up, you're a Vita Vira. So, Nibjorero, Chamberco, Jose, we had a Kumutima. Wow, we know Ganja, we know Kum, Precisely, in Havia, Muzabimga, Muzabin, Nuguango, Kubimga, Nuahu, Tajiro Pinio, Nutajira. Hm? Umuntu ya gutuka uti amusore akabare akabare wo apologizing no should be the one to apologize not not him eh yeah. so kubi ntari vuga ari ari ino guhangana ni kibazo cyabi cyawe kugita cyawe cyabi cy'umuryango wawe cyabi cya iki gihugu akigira cyawe you want to you heard of there used to be a demilitarized zone that you talked about, you have heard about. When we fought, took a territory, then there was a global outcry, and everybody was descending on us. And they thought we were going to take Kigali actually. But I don't think. Much as we could easily have militarily, from the operational point of view, we would have easily taken Kigali, but I thought politically it would be a big mistake, in, and that's why I prevailed over. There was the urgency for people to, to say, well, let's finish the job, but I, but I thought it wasn't going to, the job wasn't to get finished because. In a way, we would be overstretched, then we are taking on something much bigger than we can handle, organizing the country, but still the forces were, they were being defeated here, but 
as the government was still established, you know, they still had forces. I think we would have faced bigger problems than uh, people thought. So, but when you were being told we must go back so that peace talks continue, resume and continue, um, in the end we put a demand which will not uh, 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 relinquish. We demanded that for the areas we have taken, a big part of the country as a result of, the, of breaking the ceasefire by government and so on and so forth. We cannot return this, this area or these positions to the government. <laughs> they've lost that and they've lost it because of their own big mistake. So we compromise to make things simple for everybody. We, we, we actually gave in to some demands, but created a formula that would allow us to take it. We said, if we leave this place, it should be demilitarized, and maybe UN, or there was also at the time some African Union observers who were here, and, um, said they should monitor this area, the government should stay where we pushed it to, and for us, we have no problem going back to our positions. And this area in between remains a, a demilitarized zone. But we had already registered a huge victory. Uh, we, we are able to connect with the people in the country, um, to a great extent, we um, it put pressure on the government because they really got a very bad beating, and and they were now open to more serious discussion.